I'll Give You the Sun, a young adult novel by Jandy Nelson. The New York Times best-selling story of first love, family, loss, and betrayal. The first part of the story is told by Noah at age 13 when the twins start their teen years. The second part of the story is told by Jude at age 16 when the twins are trying to establish their own identity and talents. Noah and Jude are polar opposites. Noah is quiet, intense, has dark features. Jude is a flirt, reckless, carefree, and has sun-kissed features. As Noah states, in every set of twins, there is one angel, one devil. She gives off light, I give off dark. Noah and Jude are close, but constantly in competition. Jude sees a sketch that Noah has made of a nude male model and falls in love with it. Noah is thinking, she's never asked for a drawing before, and I'm horrible at giving them away anyway. We've been dividing up the world since we were five years old. So Noah says, for the sun, stars, oceans, and trees, I'll consider it. And he thinks she'll never do it. Okay, Jude says. Trees, stars, ocean, fine. And the sun, Jude. Oh, all right, she says. I'll give you the sun. The twins are inseparable until a rift forms between them to vie for their mother's attention for their artistic talents. At the same time, Noah falls in love with the boy next door, and Jude is sexually assaulted. Family tension and social pressure begin to pull them apart. When it is clear to Jude that Noah has her mother's favor, she purposely does not mail his application to a prestigious art school. Noah is devastated when he is not accepted, but Jude is. Then their mother is tragically killed in a car crash. Jude and the twins' father do not know the whole truth. Noah does, but he cannot bear to reveal it and blames himself for his mother's death. Now the roles have reversed. Noah has become reckless and has abandoned his sketching and painting altogether. Jude has become withdrawn and has thrown herself into her sculpting. But she fears her mother's spirit is angry with her, and that is why her sculptures keep breaking. The twins almost never speak, and the chasm between them deepens. When twins are separated, their spirits steal away to find the other. Will Noah ever pick up a paintbrush again? Will Jude ever be able to complete a sculpture without it breaking? Will Noah and Jude ever repair the relationship? Plato talked about these beings that used to exist. They had four legs and four arms and two heads. They were totally self-contained and ecstatic and powerful. Too powerful. So Zeus cut them in half and scattered all the halves around the world so that humans were doomed forever to look for their other half, the one who shared their very soul. Only the luckiest humans find their split apart.